in previous versions of like a little tuition film how to use IFTTT to connect your information from Automo Connect to Google Sheets we set up a spreadsheet like this with the date and time, the status, the description of what's going on and we added an ingredient called timestamp now this is an extra column which isn't automatic we had to add this ourselves and to get this value here in uh, the time in minutes we take this time timestamp in seconds minus this timestamp in seconds divide it by 60 to give us minutes here but now there's a new function that's come up which you can actually add in the latitude and longitude of what's happening and also a direct URL link to Google Maps which I thought was quite interesting but it's not as easy as it sounds if you're gonna if you've done the same system as I've got here where we've added this extra column because we have to jump over this column for this new information so very quickly I'm gonna duplicate this applet here and show you how I hopped over this column E here so now I go to IFTTT we click on create if this and we're going to add here Automower Connect when the status has changed here I'm going to choose this clipper called um, Chucky create a trigger so when this Automower has changed the status we're going to find Google Sheets add a row to a spreadsheet the spreadsheet name, I'll just call this uh, demo because I already have the spreadsheet and this is where it gets a little bit interesting we're going to go here to add an ingredient now under status the mower's name comes up and this is the same here so we don't need this so what we're going to do is delete where it says auto mower so here's the time and the date here's the status here's the description so we had three vertical lines or pipe as it's called add the ingredient and then the timestamp this is what we've done before and after the timestamp we added our own row so what we're going to do now is in the next oops in the next cell three vertical bars or pipe symbols as it's called add an ingredient these are the new ones that have come latitude longitude and Google Maps URL but what's going to happen here now this is going to overwrite in the column where we have our time in minutes so I need it to jump over a column so now I'm going to add three more pipe characters or vertical lines and a space and this is the folder path on the Google Drive so create action continue and finish and that will give us the end result that looks like this this is the extra three vertical lines or pipe characters we set in so this is timestamp comes automatically the three vertical lines moves it to the next cell which is here the extra three vertical lines moves it over to the next column which is here so that's how you do it